Hi guys. Oh, my ears here. So, uh, I'm Serge. I work as front end lead uh, and uh, program manager, uh, engineer manager. Sorry, it's uh, because of Richard. Uh, in Guideware, I always up to date with the latest changes in Chrome DevTools. I usually, usually I use uh, Chrome Canary or, or uh, something even more <laughs> interesting. Okay, so let's start. Today I want to say what is actually new is in the latest Chrome. So first of all, who use Firefox as the main browser for web development? Can you raise a hand? Not, okay, what about Chrome? Nice, we have much, okay. Uh, Explore, not Edge. I am in the right place, yes, cool. Uh, super, so first thing I wanted to show you today, it's actually a panel to toggle classes. There, uh, it's very handy, for example, here. Uh, always like this. Mm, buttons, that's fine. Go down to something. Sorry, if you don't use this scroll interview. Yep. Mm, okay, button primary. Here is button primary. Scroll into you once again. Nice. So here is button primary. Uh, most of you actually use b Bootstrap. I'm pretty sure Twitter Bootstrap. So here, when you add some button primary, you add disabled classes, and you always want to check how it actually works, uh, how it looks. So you can just e easily, it's elements, uh, you find your element, and here is classes. Yeah, after a while, it would come to stable Chrome. Currently, it's in Chrome Canary, and you can just switch. It's not primary, it's not bu not a button, then you can just say something like, okay, now it's disabled or something. And as you see, it's just really disabled. And if you have some, uh, yes, of course, if you have uh, some specific uh, cases when uh, according to class triggered some transition or something, it's very handy just to test, uh, just believe me. Uh, next one, it's CPU throttling. So, if you're not sure how your solution of sorting or some huge application would work on old machines with old chip CPU, uh, you don't have now to go and actually check on this old machine. What you have to do, let's say it's uh, it's WebGL presentation with many, many logic, JavaScript there, and let's just check how it works on uh, old machines. Timeline and CPU shortly. Now let's just say, now it's 10 times slower. As you see, it's like, oh yes. Super, super, yes. And it works not only for rendering, it's for everything, for your JavaScript, for timeline, how it actually works, so it's everywhere. So just take it and use it, very handy. Security panel. If you want to switch your site, your application from HTTP to HTTPS, it's deadly sync. Recently I switched my blog to HTTPS here, and because of this sync, it took, I don't know, couple days, not as usually. Uh, what is the main idea here? Here, sorry, we have debug mode and let's go HTTPS. Here is some page. As you see, it's HTTPS, it works, but Chrome still says that it's, so for some reason, insecure. So let's try to understand why it's insecure. I'm opening this security panel. Uh, it, as I remember, it came recently to Chrome, a stable, and just reload. You see, some one request, Let's check what is this. You request in network panel. Uh, some image, I, I presume this grass, uh, came still using HTTP. So let's try to find where is this HTTP. Here, here, and very, very easy, just fix it. So we save it, and let's reload. Here you see, now it's secure. Nice, isn't it? Okay, next one, promises. I hope everyone knows what is pro what promises uh, are in general. And if you st the haven't started, it's time to start using uh, promises panel in uh, actually Chrome. So before what we had, let's say we use some promise here. Nothing special. Promi resolve with promise, then some our uh, function, but here we invoke actually an existing function. What we had before. Before we had nothing. Now, first of all, Chrome sh uh, shows you an error. And secondary, which is very interesting. Here, let's, let's clear. And once again, promise, and you see it was resolved. Uh, uh, sorry? Oh, sorry. Uh, so <laughs> uh, now in Chrome stable, you can even uh, listen when your promise was 
actually rejected, which is quite nice. Here you see it's our error, code promise error. It's from window, uh, window uh, event listener. So sorry, to not so much time. Did you know that you can record video in Chrome? Okay, if your reaction is like this, stop. It's not, not the time, it's not there yet, but <laughs> From my discussion with Polaris, who, is, who was really excited of uh, my edition, I just uh, wrote some solution, which actually c provides you ability to do this. So in uh, timeline, you can actually r record screenshots. So let's do it for Pinterest. Here we recorded screenshots. Oh, internet is not so fast today. <laughs> so stop in recording, then save this file. I'm close, I'm close, really. Just believe me, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Here, just save this timeline to download. Then go to this page, take this timeline, wait for a while, encoding images to the result GIF, and here, you see how it was, how it was actually there. So because internet is not so, uh, so good here, Usually here I just uh, recorded how it works when page is loading. So on Pinterest it's very uh, nice to show. So actually, so we're out of time. We don't have time for questions, but we, if you want to know the latest uh, additions to uh, Chrome, Canary, Chromium in general, you can follow me on Twitter and thank you.